What is up, Leo? Welcome to your general timeless reading. These are general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And they're timeless, so whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. And this is Crystal Visions. And I will be clarifying with Witches Tarot. So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for Leo. Leo. I heard cautious. Six of Cups in reverse. Um, I just heard this is a return. Um, for some reason, this is a return. This is a return. This feels, this feels, this feels like this has happened already though. Like this feels like we're doing this again. Um, devil. Yeah. Attachment. The devil's about attachment. This is cyclic. This is very cyclic. Like, I don't, that's this immediately irritated me <laughs> and then I flipped the devil over and I was like why is this bothering me so much <laughs> um with the devil there this is definitely cyclic like something that you've done before like you and this person have gone through this before you and the situation have gone through this before it's just an attachment um doesn't mean it's necessarily bad but it's just kind of like this is a pattern like there's it it's gonna be it's about to be broken though like it's you're gonna realize like you or the person you're doing this with, there's going to be a conversation that's had and it's going to be halted. It's going to be halted because it's a pivot energy. There's a pivot going to unfolding. Yeah, chariot. There it is. New direction. Yeah. There's the pivot. Sorry, here's the chariot. I forgot to hold it up for you. Okay. What else do we have for Leo? Yeah, page of swords in reverse. Okay, so there's been a lack of communication going on. There's been a lack of honesty about um, the changes that have wanted to be made. Uh, the devil represents codependency, addiction, attachment, the ego, limiting beliefs, fears, insecurities, right? All these things. Um, it's just, it's it's all encompassing of a lot of things. Okay. With the Six of Cups there, this this is repeating cycles. The Chariot is you two both wanting to move into a new direction. There's been hesitance about having this discussion, and now it's finally going to come to the surface. What else do we have for Leo? Two more. Wow, we oh, we have Three of Swords and the Five of Swords. Yeah, we're talking about the heartache and the betrayals, right? Because we're finally over it. We're finally over the, the hurt. Well, we're, we're over the fact of how many betrayals have occurred, right? The Five of Swords, like how much conflict. We're not trying to fight. We're not trying to have conflict. But we're still sitting in the three. We're still sitting in that pain. We're still sitting in the hurt a little bit. Yeah, Ten of Swords, bottom of the deck. This is done. N not necessarily the relationship, but this attachment, this cycle is done, which is why we're discussing it. We're moving in a new direction. Eight of Cups, because it no longer serves either one of you, but you are coming back to one another because the Eight of Cups is the U-turn card, and there's the Ace of Wands, right? The new beginning. Okay. So, let's clarify. Wow. Ah, get back over here. Let's see what we got for Leo. what I mostly need to see for Leo. Show me what I mostly need to see for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. Tell me about the Six of Cups for Leo. Hierophant in reverse. Wow, yeah. So this might have already gone through an ending. Uh, the Two of Wands. And then you have the Two of Wands upright. Yeah. In the past, this has already ended. Like this had already been cut off and there's been a waiting uh, for a new opportunity, for a new path to open up. There's some, it's almost like intuitively you both have like been sitting there like, are we gonna do this? Are we not gonna do this? Are we gonna do this? Are we not gonna do this? It, it has like this anticipation energy, like, Who's going to initiate? Who's going to initiate? That's really what it is. It's like you're both sitting at the two. It doesn't feel like one energy over the other. It feels like both people sitting at the two. Because the Hierophant in reverse is like, is it really done? Are we really, is it really done? Right? So let's look at the devil. Let's look at the devil. <laughs> Sun, moon, rising. 
look at the devil. Why is the devil here? Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords. So we have Libra energy with the Queen of Swords Tower. Yeah, and the Ace of Cups. There is going to be communication, very blunt, very direct communi communication from the heart space about this new beginning, right? Addressing the attachment, the codependency, the toxic behaviors, and this dynamic that need to end, right? The old foundation, basically why shit wasn't working, and this is Leo for me. So we got Leo and we got Libra. So we got two feminine energies. Does not mean it has to be two women, it's just two feminine energies, right? Like, hey, we gotta talk about why this wasn't working and why it failed. Okay. This doesn't have to be the person making the approach, but this is when the, the conversation is unraveling. Okay. So let's look at the chariot. The chariot. This is the new direction. Let's see where it's moving. I heard bygones be bygones. I haven't heard that phrase in a long time. Six of cups. And it's upright. Okay, so now, look, there's the relationship, and it's upright. It's balanced again. It's moving in a new direction. That's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Let me tell you something. Page of Wands. Yep, and now they're like, oh my gosh, we're having fun. We're being lighthearted, childlike nature. We're exploring, never letting go. Four of Pentacles, right? Four of Pentacles is like protecting what's most precious to you, right? Okay, so let's look at the Page of Swords. So we're still not talking about something. This is like the elephant in the room. Let's look at the pages. Yeah, five of wands. So this is like that. It's it's the elephant in the room. The five of wands is like what's brewing. It's the conflict. It's it's the drama. I don't think the queen of swords is aware of this. I feel like this is somebody holding back. Honestly, I feel like it's the other energy. Yeah, nine of wands. This this feels like a little bit of like a I'm ready to fight energy. We have a six of wands, an eight of wands, and then the king of swords. So now we have the opposing energy, right? The queen to the king. Okay? So the masculine energy in reverse. So it's like, yeah, like, I want to move forward. Like, I'm really determined. Five of wands and the nine of wands. The five and the nine gives you a four of wands. Really determined because the five is the card of determination as well. Really determined. Not going to give up to have a four of wands. To have a stable foundation. The five to the six, which is progression, right? The nine and the eight, the eight to the nine, right? Really nice movement forward. But there's still something that this other energy, they're not discussing. They might just be a little drawn back, not as confident in expressing themselves as this queen is over here. Okay. Yeah, bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords again. They're very burdened with the Ten of Wands underneath it. They're still going through their own transformation. They're kind of contemplating whether or not they should walk away again or not. I think that's just their own fear of getting hurt again. They have their own fears that they're still working through. Let's look at the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of the Queen of Wands is popping out again? Yeah, so this Queen of Wands, King of Swords kind of go hand in hand. Uh, Queen of Wands to me as a reader is Leo energy. Yeah, Four of Swords in Reverse and the Seven of Wands. So yeah, they're still healing. They're a little bit defensive still. They're just taking some time to get a new perspective on the cycle. This Ten of Swords that they're healing as an individual. They're still going through their own bit of heartache still. Because the Four minus the Three gives you an Ace of Swords in Reverse. They're still not in their full truth quite yet right which is why they are not capable of speaking their full truth quite yet let's look at this five of swords in reverse this betrayal energy so this is the release of this betrayal yep knight of cups okay so there comes this authentic gesture of okay i'm going to discuss how i feel now right because now they're releasing this energy of conflict King of Wands, and then Tower. Yeah, okay, so now it's the discussion. So the King to the Queen of Wands. We got a lot of true pairs going on here. Um, I still think that this is actually the Queen of Wands, masculine energy. I feel like this Queen of Swords is very separate from these other, I feel like all these court cards, the King of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Wands are, are all the same person. This Queen of Swords just feels very separate. Like, 
all of this down here feels like the same person. They just feel very withdrawn, but like confident, then withdrawn, confident, and then withdrawn. Like, I know what I want. I'm not going to tell you about it. You know, it's just like, and with the tower there, it's like, okay, now I'm ready to talk about it. Like now I see clearly what I want and I'm going to confront you. Right. And that comes in the tower moment and they're going to basically be discussing what, what hurt them. Cause now they feel confident in who they are, Nine of Pentacles. And that's when the Two of Cups comes back and things can move forward because nobody's stuck in their head anymore. Really nice. So let's look at this Ten of Swords in the overall. Yeah, that Queen of Swords is kind of like chilling over there. I feel really like, I said my piece, that's all I got. <laughs> let's look at the Ten of Swords. Yeah, Two of Swords in reverse. The, uh... Knight of Swords in reverse and the Four of Wands. So this is this queen when they're still working through their Ten of Swords, right? And they're contemplating walking away. Deep down, they know that they still want this Ace of Wands. They just don't see that yet because their heart space is closed and they're not ready to talk because they're focused on the past, how the foundation fell apart and how the relationship fell apart. And they're not ready to be authentic, right? Page of Cups in reverse. The Page of Cups is my card of authenticity. And that's why they need to be hermit mode for a little bit. They need some time alone till they get some clarity and overcome their abandonment, their hurt. Okay? But they're going to come back together. Very nice. Leo, this is what I have for you. This is awesome sauce. Just be patient. And if you want a personal reading or Reiki session, book it down below. But if you want some discounts on your personal reading or Reiki session, check out Patreon. Each tier has a different amount of discounts. And yeah, I love you. I wish you the best. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.